back to that. Way over. Today, Teresa and I are visiting Londonary Country Club located in Londonary, New Hampshire. This is a executive 18 hole executive course, par 62. We'll be playing the front nine, uh, which is a par 29. It has seven par threes and two par fours. So this is gonna be a nice little challenge for us. And for the first time uh, ever, it's gonna be me versus her. And she, well, I'm gonna give her one stroke per hole. So um, I have my work cut out for me here. So it should be fun. Bones are already cracking. I know, huh? Tough to get the swings going here. I know. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's tough to strategize when you haven't swung yet. You don't know how your ball's flying. But I'm just gonna try to make a good swing and see if I can. That's the plan. I'm not worried if, if I hit the green or not. If I'm anywhere around the green, I'll be happy. Hole number one is a tough starting hole for the guys at 210 yards. Uh, this is a par three. There's really not much trouble around the green, so it's just basically going to be the distance. So you want to you want to reach the screen or at least be somewhere around the green to have a good chance for a par. So just make a good swing and don't try to overpower it. So Teresa makes a really nice pitch shot here right onto the front of the green so she's going to have a putt for par and um, this is I chipped up to here so I gave myself a long par putt so I ended up bogeying and again with Teresa getting her stroke uh, she can two putt here to win the hole which she does. Hole number two is pretty straightforward. This is a par three, 165 yards. Uh, just a small bunker to the short right that protects it. So just try to get your distance and make a good swing. Nice shot. Oh, is that bunker? Oh, it's up. Right. It's on. Right? I'll nice take shot. it. My tee shot ended up just short of the green. I've elected to use a little nine iron, kind of a putting stroke, just to chip it on the green and let it roll right up, which uh, worked pretty good. Okay, that's not a gimme either. No. Alright. It's alright, I won the hole, right? Uh, you did. Nice. Yeah, nice you won, play. so we're even now. Yeah, all square. Alright. Hole number three is the first par four. Again, short yardage, 235, but very tight. So, uh, definitely risk and reward here. Uh, you definitely have to be hitting it straight if you want to go for the green. Um, as you notice throughout this course, you're going to notice it is pretty tight, so direction, accuracy is going to be key. I've elected to tee off here with an 8-iron just to get it over that water and give me an approach shot to the green. And Teresa with her driver. Alright, now feel better. It's green. Birdie putt. Pressure on you now. I know, huh? Advantage Matt. <laughs> so Advantage Matt. Hopefully that changes. <laughs> Ooh, it's a nice one. Slow down. Ooh, pretty good. And there it goes. It's rolling. Roll. Alright, I put 
far anyway. Oh, not hard enough. Wow, it is not as yeah. hard as it looks. Oh. oh. Ouch, double bogey. Yeah. Another three putt on the card. I know. And another win for me. <laughs> Alright, I have to change out this soccer ball. <laughs> yeah. oh. Hole number four is another par four, short, 215 yards, so definitely reachable if you can work the ball, as this is another very tight hole. So if you have the skills, go for it. If not, just lay up. I'm actually teeing off here, I believe, with an eight iron. I'm just trying to get it out there past that tree, the far tree there down on the left. Just give me an angle in and have a good shot at the green. Ah, that's beautiful. I'm going to the bunker. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I think I'm... Uh, I'm yeah, I think you're rolled in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try a shot I don't usually try. That's just a little punch sandwich. I figured it's a good time to practice it. For those of you wondering what a punch sandwich is, it's basically just a kind of a short swing, low finish with a sandwich, just to try to knock it down a little bit. I'm on the green, so I once again, you're in the bunker, advantage me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. This was a great shot by Teresa. Um, if you notice to get out of these bunkers, you're gonna watch her ball position is gonna be well forward in her stance and her club face is actually a little open and she just hits the sand a couple inches behind the ball with a nice full full swing good job ah uh, great putt oh thank you yeah so that means yeah. i need to i need to make this to tie the hole that's not fair that's great <laughs> all right yeah. is this a gimme no <laughs> really? Hold it. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, right. nice. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is now, huh? Yeah. Right. Oh. oh, nice putt. Oh, wow. Tied. Tied. Cute. That's a birdie. Yeah. And a tie. Can't even win with a birdie. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Hole number five is a pretty straightforward par three, 135 yards. Anywhere around the green is going gonna, is gonna to give you a decent chance to get up and down. You just don't want to miss to the right or long here. Chunky, but pretty good direction. Yeah, not bad. Ooh, that's right. Kick, 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 kick. Huh? Here's another chipping situation where a lot of you might try to go really high and land it close to the hole. This is basically a low chip, land it on the green, roll it. I think I used a nine iron again on this one, um, but that's all you need. Oh, you have to tip. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Alright, well, got my work cut out for me. Get up, get up. Alright, not bad. Good putt. Ooh, Ooh. stuck it in. <laughs> Squeaked it in. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, ouch. Turn the edge. Ouch. Alright. Tie the hole, right? Tie the hole. Yeah. Oh, it's too bad. I could have took a two up lead. You could have. I'm glad you didn't. Hole six is 155 yard, par three. Trouble along the right. Plenty of room on the left hand side. So, again, just, um, you know, try to get your yardage right, make a good swing, and uh, try to favor a little, little left on this one. Out. Advantage me. <laughs> oh, nice contact. Long enough? Get up there. Very good. On pace for a double bogey. <laughs> Finger <Go> crossed. <laughs>
That's a bogey. Let's see if she misses. No, nope. she yeah, even that. So that means I need this to make this putt to tie. Yeah, to tie. I miss it, you win the hole. I, uh, yeah, and then I go. We're even. Then we're even. Nice putt. That's pretty good. All right, you win the hole. Thank you. Sure it is. Oh, it is now. Yep. All right, good job. We're Thank even. You. All right. Yeah, back to all square. Nice. Back to even. All good right. job. That feels good. Doesn't it? It does. See, that's one that's of the reasons why I really like this course is yeah. because I feel like I can be competitive. Yeah. Um, it's not one of those where I have to right. hit monster shots off the tee and off the out of the fairway just to feel like I can right. compete. On this one, I I feel like I just actually have a chance. Hole seven, another par three, 160 yards. You get to clear that water into this green, which anything to the right or in the back actually slopes away. So you play one, if you're gonna miss, play favor the front or a little left to give you the best chance. Wow, contact with that. Way over. Yes, I did make it over. Yeah, way over. Didn't leave it short. <laughs> Here's the situation here where Teresa ended up missing on the wrong side of the green. This is going to be a twice as hot of an up and down yeah, from this position, oh. which, um, you know, she needed a lot of height to land it on the green. It's just a tough shot to pull off. And that ended up costing her here. Wow, this is a nightmare hole. I conceded this hole to you. All right, conceded. <laughs> yeah, it's conceded. All right, let's see what I can do. Nice job. Oh. All right, why are you bogeyed? Hole eight, it's an uphill 120 yard par three. Um, it kind of backstops in the back. However, the green is very fast from back to front. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna be on the green, you probably wanna be below the hole or it's gonna be a tough putt. Oh, that's good contact. Nice. There you go. Good job. That's perfect. Alright. Alright. Got up there. Very good. Here's a tough little chip. Downhill, sloping. This ball is going to run away from the pin. So I used a high lofted club here. I use a lob wedge and I'm just going to do a little chip. Land it on the fringe and let it run down to the hole which is um, very good there. Nice job. Thank you. All right, good bogey. All right. We tied. Can't ask for better than <laughs> that. All right, one down, one to play. Yeah. The last hole of front nine, hole number nine here, 165 yards from the white. This hole, you definitely want to favor the right-hand side here, as if you miss left, it's going to be a much more difficult up and down. So uh, just favor the right. This was a great little shot here from Teresa. If you ever watched our shows before, we have her using our putter a lot in tough situations. This, all she's got to do is get the, the putter head on the ball, and that ball is going to bounce right out, right down, back into play. So very safe play, and uh, works like a charm. This was probably the toughest chip of the day for me, uh, as um, I really had to get some height on this and I need to land it just on the green because these greens are pretty fast. I ended up using a sand wedge and it worked out pretty good. Good job. All right, 
as predicted, husbands win. <laughs> Sorry, wives. <laughs> <laughs> Again, thanks for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Yeah, so, yeah uh, but I mean, I mean, you just can't get too overly emotional, especially when you're learning the game. Right. Otherwise, you just yeah go from bad to worse. So yeah, I mean, the pass is the pass. So whether you birdie or whether you you triple bogey, right? You're still playing the next hole. Right. So that's already gone. So right. you just play your best shot every uh, time. The, the best yeah. you can do every time. Yeah. All right. And then we hopefully, did that. hopefully you're happy with your score when you're done. If not, then don't keep score. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be happy, right? right? Yeah, if yeah. you want to be happy, don't keep score. Yeah. But you know, if you want a rea reality check, write it down. Yeah.